we're creating a glamorous glamping retreat for Rennell and Mike. These are the things I just want to get up there and just... <laughs> And with our box braces lifted and secured, we can install our four steel knee braces into the trees. This concludes this section of our build. Where are the beams? Well, we've installed High Line that runs over the yard and directly over where the tree house is gonna be. We're gonna eventually use it for walls, but right now we're gonna use it to fly these beams over. The cable itself is rated for a 5,000 pound working load. That's with a five to one safety rating. And these beams weigh 1,200 pounds approximately. So we should all be safe and this should work perfectly. We're putting two 40 foot six by 18 glue lamb beams on top of the steel box braces. One, two, three. First beam is in. Nice. All right, well, that wasn't what I would call the easiest beam lift we've done before, but time for another one. The ends of the beams in the oak tree have a static connection. You got it, you got it, you got it, there you go. Which gets bolted to the box brace, whereas the ends in the ash tree have a dynamic connection. They rest inside the brackets, allowing the beams to slide when the trees move and not impact the structure of the treehouse. Nice, beams are in. Looking good. All right, coming up, Mike. Welcome to the Nelson Treehouse and Supply Outdoor Gym. We're uh, pushing joists up onto the two carrier beams today. I'm gonna start rolling all the joists out, get them blocked. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, my lord! Ah! Nice work. 22 joists are making up this platform. Now, the joists are spaced every 24 inches. That's important because plywood is four feet by eight feet. And when you lay out your plywood onto the joist, you want to make sure you have a joist on center. OC, we call it. Mike, how did it get so cold up here? You know what they say about the weather. If you don't like it, wait five minutes. And then they have to be flat because you don't want your floor all wobbly. Get your tree on, guys. Woo! Well, we got our layout done. We got our blocking in. We're about to throw our rim joist on. Then we're going to get on the full tilt buggy and lay some of this old reclaimed dug fur tongue and groove floor. And let's bust it out. Rennell loves reclaimed wood, so we're screwing in some aged dug fur directly into our joists. Normally, you see us lay down our structural subfloor, and then once the house is dried in, we'll put down our wood flooring. In this case, we're throwing down the flooring first because it's thicker. It's two by six car decking. You can park your car on this. Because it's two inches thick, it's the same as if we'd lay down both subfloor and flooring. So we're just knocking it all out now. The pros to dealing with reclaimed lumber is that it's beautiful. It's sustainable. The, the only cons to using it is it's about five times more labor intensive. Since all this stuff was used, it was taken apart, remilled, planed, finished. There are inconsistencies and whatnot. The thicknesses of the wood will be slightly off. And you'll end up with a lot of knots, checks, splinters, pieces like this right here. That we essentially just have to cut out. You should have seen the splinter I pulled out of my tuchus. That was a doozy. You cannot look until I tell you, okay? You promise? This is the part that I love so much. It's when we give Rennell and Mike the first look at the treehouse. When we get to the perfect spot, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Okay. okay. And then you can look up. All right. We have waited for this for so long. The anticipation is too much, and I can't wait to get down there and see what they've done. Like, yeah, I think right here. Let's we're, go. We're ready to go. We're ready Let's to get go. on with this. On three. One, two, three. Oh my God. Isn't it cool? I love it. It's big. It's big. Awesome job. It's a big Good job. Thank you. That is fantastic. You, look you, at this bridge. Look at the wood. Is that the reclaimed wood? That's all the reclaimed wood. Fantastic. Okay. I wanted my family to feel like we were camping in the woods. And now to have a cabin out of my backyard is perfect. You want to go see it right now? Yes. Come on, come on, follow Absolutely. me. Absolutely, let's go. This way, you, and we can run if you want, but be careful. This is your spot now, Mike. It's a little saloon and a kind of a barbecue hangout. Oh, uh, this is great. Isn't this what fun? a perfect place. So you've got your little bistro chairs and it's all cutesy. I could see that being used as a party platform, as a place to put a band. They really nailed that. This is a smoker. You can smoke briskets I, and I know what to do with that. Go with it. <laughs> <laughs> this way, I'm gonna let you go first because this is so fun. Bouncy though, be ready. 
Oh, that's, that's fun. Pretty... What's better than a bouncy bridge? What do you think? This is, look at, look at all the- It bounces. It bounces. <laughs> and the net, that's awesome. You wanted unique, you got unique. We got unique. We've got some steep slope land, and we kind of wanted to stay up off the ground. To satisfy that with a fun feature, that was just kind of a bonus. Is this cozy or what? I feel like I'm in a resort, and I'm in my own backyard. You're in your own backyard? We wanted every aspect to look like it had been around for a long time, and I think he absolutely nailed that. You see well, this? What is this? It's Doug Fur. It was in a building in Oakland. These are all the old nail holes, right? We've taken a piece of property here that has a lot of history and added a layer on top of that that nobody would expect. You want to go inside? You can look in. Oh, oh my god, Pete, this is perfect. <laughs> Pete, Isn't this fun? is Isn't it fun? Between the decorative items and the accessories and the colors that Christina brought, it's a very cozy space, and it's got all of the warm atmosphere that we were hoping for. Look at this wood, Mike. Look at these beams. I love the wood. That was one thing that I really asked for, was I wanted beams, I wanted reclaimed wood, and we got every bit of that. This is your kitchen? Love it. Love it. Now look, this is another little What do we spot. have here? Oh, it's my room. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. I was a little surprised at the bathroom. First, that there was so much detail in it, and secondly, that it was so big. Look at this piece of woodwork. What a beauty this is. Look at that stove. You have like different pieces of artwork everywhere we go, from the trees to the stones. Uh -huh. Look at these bunk beds. Here, look underneath, there's some, <laughs> the stars. Oh, there's we starlight. have starlight. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> we'll have a starry night inside. It's not like any bunk beds that you would normally see. The headroom is like five feet on the bottom and five feet on the top. I love anything custom, and he hit the nail on the head. Oh, the rails. I love the railing. Yeah. And then it's cozy up here. A hanging bed. A hanging bed. <laughs> when the wind blows, then this will just kind of keep, keep you even. It, it'll just like lull us to sleep, right? rock a -bye baby. Oh, this is awesome. This is something Rennell really wanted was a hanging bed. I think Christina did such a great job with the pillows, and oh, it's just so comfortable right there. Look at this. Rather ample deck. Oh, my goodness. It is big. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Look at the hockey rink from here. And you can sell seats to the game. I mean, look at a hockey suite. Isn't it nice up here? Look, this is yeah. something else. It's awesome. 